going, everybody? It's Jimmy. How's it going, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from Powerlifting website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today, I am here to explain why I am in a car. Um, no, not really. No, but I am in my car because y'all see me in my car a lot because I'll be driving and working while I'm shooting videos, which is cool with me, right? And yeah. But so, no, the really though, the purpose of today's video or this video is to discuss why powerlifting belts are allowed in raw lifting, right? Because you would think that it's, it's in a piece of equipment, but it's really, it's like it's not really equipment in the sense that in the way that they're talking about equipment. Before I get into this, is equipment is something. When you when you when you hear about equipped powerlifting meets, when you they're basically pe people who are participating in equipped powerlifting meets wear gear that um or saves elastic energy and gives it off which which or and puts it back out which helps you um get out of the hole or stand back and get back into your original position like a deadlift suit that saves it's it's made out of elastic material and it helps you get out of the hole or stand back upright squat suit same thing it helps you stand back upright get out of the hole in the squat bench shirt helps you get out of the hole when you're pressing the weight back up same exact concept um now why exactly are powerlifting belts used or in raw meats most i don't think you'll ever i've never heard of a, a federation that doesn't allow uh powerlifting belts and the reason for that is a powerlifting belt doesn't it doesn't save elastic energy. In, in fact, it just it helps you brace your core and keeps you safe. That's like the best way for me to put that. Like it doesn't it's not gonna uh, add any crazy weight to your deadlift. In reality, it's just gonna make sure that you don't slip a disc or get a hernia. Um, because you'll be working with max weights, and with max weights, it's very difficult to keep good form. It's just is the truth like i mean some people are able to do it i mean to keep perfect form let's say that form that's your back where your back isn't rounding overly i mean when, and when you see that sometimes people like you stop lifting the weight but sometimes like if you like me and a lot of other lifters you try and push through it right and i mean it's not the best idea but some people try and push through it and they end up hurting themselves so that's really why probably you'll see powerlifting belts a lot of raw competitions because it's it's not there to help you like it's not there to help you lift more weight it makes some people may be able to lift more weight um, with the uh, powerlifting belt on, but that's probably because they're able to stay tighter and they're saving energy. Where like they're all their energy is going into the movement and nothing's slipping out. Whereas when you're not, when you're not wearing a powerlifting belt, your back may get rounded, you get loose, and you're just not moving efficiently. The muscles aren't coordinated. Muscles aren't coordinating properly, and you know you end up uh, wasting wasting energy you don't want to do that uh so in the post i'm just going over this briefly but in the post um it goes over why they're allowed at raw competitions which is what i just said um and that's because to keep you safe and then it also goes over the legal size of a powerlifting belt that just is a bit of extra information so when you go shopping for a powerlifting belt you know exactly what to look for i'm on the website i also put exactly i put a few good powerlifting belts on there i mean i obviously i use the same belt <laughs> that I've been using since I started because I like this belt it does what I needed to do I don't really see the point the belt doesn't make the person to be honest like like I said you I look the same way I didn't might not have said this but I look the same way with the belt on as I do without the belt so it doesn't make the person like just because you have a $130 belt on that doesn't mean that you're a crazy product that just means you like to spend good money on belts and you know power more power to you do your thing um so exactly that's that's pretty much it just you know it helps you stay tight keeps you safe uh you'll be seeing more videos from me in the future and if you like this content give it a like and a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more uh, videos will be coming out on a regular basis peace you see me at the next one